What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Terrifier 3 in this video here today. I haven't talked about Terrifier 3 in a while on the channel, but I pretty much am going to talk about it a lot more, at least this week, starting today and then also on Wednesday because we got confirmation today thanks to USA Today, I believe, who sat down with Damien Leone and got some major plot details confirmed and also got the, the got the revelation that we are going to be getting the teaser trailer, a new teaser trailer dropping online this Wednesday. We also got these cool new images that you see here coming across the screen from Terrifier 3, which looks phenomenal. Uh, Terrifier 3, though, going into some of the plot details that Damien Leone has confirmed with USA Today. Some of the stuff we've known about, some of the stuff might be coming true, such as things that I've talked about in the past, which I'll get into in a second. But Terrifier 3 catches up with Sienna and her younger brother Jonathan five years after the events of the previous film which ended with Sienna embracing a warrior angel spirit and decapitating Art who since the first Terrifier has been possessed by a mysterious evil entity. They're spending the holidays in Miles County with their aunt and uncle like we've talked about previously on the channel but the ensuing years have been hard coping with the past trauma especially for Sienna which is something I've also talked about. It hasn't been an easy road, Leone says. She's been in and out of mental health facilities and just dealing with all of this, not only just what she's been through, but what she's been coming and what her role is in this universe. Now, if you keep in mind, previously on my channel, I've talked about how her uncle in the movie seems to possibly think that she is a threat to her cousin who looks up to Sienna during this film. So we'll just have to wait and see how that all unfolds. Then he goes into talking about the mythology and the way it's going to be explored further. Leone teases he'll address Art's connection to Sienna and her late father. The film features Victoria Hayes' uh, Samantha Scaff Scaffity in a significant role. The disfigured final girl from the original Terrifier is possessed by the entity too and was last seen in Terrifier 2 giving birth to Art's head in a mental institute. Now, I want to talk about how he brought up the fact that this addresses Art's connection to Sienna and her late father. Remember when I did a video talking about, I actually made a Twitter post as well, talking about how Sienna's father allegedly was in the comic books. And that is the origins of how this character that she dressed up as in Terrifier 2 was born. And then how that correlates to Art the Clown, I don't know, but that at least is some of the bits of what you can expect because there is supposed to be some type of flashback that goes into Sienna's childhood. So we'll see how that correlates to Art the Clown and what all that has to do with seeing his dad. Then he goes on to talk about how the Christmas influence on the film and how he probably was borrowing aspects and inspired by other movies. He said pretty much any classic Christmas movie trope you could imagine. I try to put Art the Clown in that situation and see how he would handle that. So those are pretty much all the important details I want to talk about from this interview. I cannot wait for Terrifier 3. I cannot wait for this trailer that drops online this Wednesday. Uh, the shots that we've gotten this morning, I, again, I think they look great. Looks like it has a much bigger budget like we were told it would. Terrifier 3, I have no doubt, will end up being one of the best slasher movies we get this year. And I don't think it'll disappoint me. Uh, I already think that the second film was a step in the right direction over the first film because the second film, to me, did a lot better job at giving me characters to get behind, root for, and get invested in their journeys against this evil entity known as Art the Clown. Whereas the first film, while adequately made, the character development wasn't all that great. And it just felt like I was watching a lot of meaningless people die. Whereas in Terrifier 2, yes, you could argue you have more of the same, but not completely when you give me characters like Jonathan and Sienna, who we're going to be picking back up with in Terrifier 3. And they clearly have some sort of connection to Art the Clown that's going to be explored in a hopefully satisfying capacity going into Terrifier 3 that I cannot wait to see. Um, but just to give more clarity on this comic book situation with Sienna's dad, if you haven't been following me over on Twitter, one of the alleged bits as, as it pertains to Sienna's dad's obsession with comic books, or at least him having, having some sort of fascination with comics, the character that he drew up, that angel character that Sienna wore in Terrifier 2, was drawn up because he promised he would make some sort of female hero for her. And she was supposed to go up against this character known as Blaster Man. That again is all supposed to be stuff that's shared in the flashback, sequence that happens in Terrifier 3 where we see a young Sienna and we meet her father but we'll see if any of that actually makes it to the final cut let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to the Terrifier 3 
trailer dropping this Wednesday. Why or why not? Do you think Terrifier 3 is going to be a bust? Why or why not? Are you not looking forward to anything with Art the Clown because you think this is just torture porn? Let me know all that down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.